three of the Gospels, the final 24 hours of Jesus' life began when, like thousands of other Jews, he and his disciples sat down for a Passover meal. The normal Passover meal had a variety of symbolic elements. There is the bitter herbs that helped you remember the bitterness of bondage in Egypt. There was the unleavened bread or bread of haste, which uh, re reminded what haste they had to leave the land once they were set free. But most importantly, there was the Passover lamb, because it was the blood of the lamb that led to the sparing of them from the judgment that fell on Egypt. This meal is now one of the most iconic Christian events, commemorated in countless famous paintings as Jesus' Last Supper with his disciples before his death. It also provided a ritual that symbolized how the Gospel writers believed true redemption could now come only through Jesus, through his death on the cross, and what would later become the central act of Christian worship, the Eucharist. Jesus reinterprets several of the elements of the Passover, the bread, which would have been unleavened bread, and one of the cups of wine in terms of his own body and his own blood. And what is most incredible about this is that Jesus is offering his disciples the benefits of his passion, of his death, in advance of dying. One of the things scholars are in general agreement on is that the first part of the Gospels to be written down were the Passion narratives. At least 33% of the Gospel focuses just on that last week of Jesus' life. The Gospel writers knew the part of the story they absolutely had to explain and get straight was this unexpected ending to the story of Jesus. For ancient peoples, including Jews, believed that how a person died most revealed their character. 